Hello fellow patrons. Um, we are out on the outside of the cabin again today and we have finally finished up our uh, generator setup to run the cabin off of. Now we're not through inside but we are definitely finishing up out here with our boxes and everything so we're going to take here and I'm going to show you what all we've done inside the boxes and how it looks and Try to explain a little bit about the wiring because we showed wiring the box the other day, but now we're going to show how that we wired the generator hookup into the box. So, okay, what we've got here, we went ahead and installed a 125 amp breaker uh, breaker here. Now this breaker is the same amperage as this box is. We've done that because we're going to also be hooking solar into this at some point and we want to have enough solar to run everything off of so we just went ahead and put the 125 amp breaker in it what we've done is we took a number six wire and we ran the two hot leads into the breaker here the breaker's turned off and this is completely cold there's nothing going on here it's off grid there's no power yeah there's no power we ran our neutral over and we've hooked our neutral into the grounding bar we ran our mechanical ground over, and it's hooked into our neutral bar right beside the earthen ground. Remember I mentioned in the other video that the outside panel box can have all the neutrals and the grounds hooked on the same bar. Now, that is how we have it wired coming from the box over here where our generator now this is our generator plug this is a 30 amp four wire generator plug which is what code requires that we have here now when you have a generator that you're going to be running the cabin off of and you're also going to be running the cabin off of solar then what that requires is is between the two of these you have to have a service disconnect and when we hook the solar up, there will also be another service to disconnect right here for the solar. That way, if the solar's running, I can kill the power to here. Or if this is running, I'll be able to kill the power to the solar. They're not feeding back into one another. So what we've done here, this is a standard 30 amp fused service disconnect box. Coming up from the generator plug here, we're going into the two bottom leads here with the hot leads. The two neutrals are in the center. The two coming out of the panel box over here goes up into the center up here. And what happens is this is feeding this through these two 30 amp fuses feeds this box in here. This way, if there's a short, we blow a fuse. And if we get ready to work on it, we can pull a fuse up here. We can take that out. Or if we get ready to hook up a solar system, we can pull the plug up here because it has this type of fuse system here. And it has an on and an off. If you put it in the on position up here, you push it in, then it's hot. You take it out, you turn it over, and you stick it in up here. Then it's not plugged in and it's dead at that time. So what we've done down here now... Because this is just a service disconnect box, there's not a large enough ground box for the fourth ground or the mechanical ground. So what I did was I came over here to the earthen ground and I put a jam nut system on it and I ran a separate earthen ground over here, came up into this box, took the ground from the box up here and I took the ground from here and I hooked them all into the earthen ground it runs over and goes down into here, which the earthen ground from this wire here is the same exact earthen ground that's right here. This one coming out of that same wire runs over and hooks in right here. So they're all basically tied together. That is our mechanical ground in the event that lightning happens. And then this comes down to here, and we have a copper ground rod that's driven in the ground eight foot deep so that we make sure we have a good ground here next to the cabin. So guys, we'll show you how this thing covers back up. This here goes in. 
snaps in there. Okay, guys, so we're going to put this in the off position right now. We're going to stick it up in here. It's in the off position. That way there's, even if the generator was hooked up to it, there's no power going to this box right now. So now we've got that. We'll close it up. The whole system. And we also went ahead and installed a 110 amp plug-in system here because we're outside working here and we have a generator running we may need or the solar system running we may need plug-ins on this side of the house to be able to do something out here with run a drill motor or run something else with so this is the first phase of getting the off-grid cabin electrified with some sort of electricity whether it be generator or whether it's going to be solar we want to make sure we have it ready for either one of them. This was the first phase of it because we have a generator right now. We don't have solar. Solar is something that we're going to have to save to be able to purchase. So that'll come down the road, but we want to go ahead and get it ready where we can have some sort of electricity in the cabin here. Even though it's off grid, we'll be using a generator to run the lights, to run whatever we need to run in there to be able to enjoy our off grid cabin. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.